we're launching a fund which is about leasing farms um, and the, the reason is that we've had some people approach us. They want exposure to agriculture because they see it's a good sector in Australia to be exposed to. But really importantly, it's also not correlated to equities, not correlated to bonds, commercial property. So it gives people a really good diversifier in their investment portfolio. Well, the key thing we're proposing to do is, is to actually buy farms and then lease those farms to other farmers to operate. So as investors, you're exposed to rental income rather than the volatility of day-to-day -day prices and weather, etc. So, so our investors will be insulated from that variability. First and foremost, it's about diversity. So it's about diversifying the portfolio an investment portfolio to lower the risk for investors because it's not correlated to all those other asset classes and there's plenty of good information around to show that. So, so that diversity is a real key driver but at the same time you've still got to get decent returns. So, so we think we can get deliver 10 to 12 percent returns out of this product and that's a combination of lease rental income which is very stable and then land appreciation over the long term that we know that runs at about six percent per annum we add to that some leverage and we're very cautious about that but we think we can manage 25 30 percent leverage so we put those together and you get total fund returns of 10 to 12 percent so the acquisition strategy is really built on the philosophy of trying to make this as low a risk as possible and providing exposure to agriculture. So what we're going to do is uh, obviously lease the farms is an important part, so you don't have the volatility associated with weather and prices on a year-to-year -year basis. But importantly, we're going to buy farms in a diverse range of regions, so from Tasmania to the top of Queensland. And so farms will be dairy farms, they'll be grazing farms, cropping farms. So not, not heavy exposure to any particular sector. Um, so diverse, but also geographically diverse. So if one region has a, a tough year or two, the other regions will probably be fine. So it's about managing volatility, both on the lease returns and on the land appreciation side. When we're looking for farmers, we want to find farmers who are going to look after the land. It's really important that we do that because the other part of the returns comes from land appreciation over time. And we don't want to ever do anything that puts that at risk. So we want farmers who are good farmers, good stewards of the land. We want to be able to leave the farm in a better condition at the end than at the start. We also want farmers who are in good, strong financial position because we want them obviously to be continued to be able to pay the rent and we want them to be aware of environmental issues and all the things that go together to make a good farm business over time. Well, we, we've already been doing a lot of leasing for various investors and so we've had a lot of experience at finding good tenants and knowing what works and doesn't work. And some of the key things are looking at how well they run their existing farm business. Um, have they got good programs for weed control, for environmental management? Are they getting good yields? Because one of the issues in leases is you need your tenant to treat it like they own it. And, and if they treat it like they own it, then you're going to get the best possible land appreciation. If you look at what we've achieved over the last 10 years, so since 2008, our portfolio, which is a mix of operation leases, thing, has generated 10.4% IRR net of fees over that 10 year period. And that's come from operational performance, which obviously varies a bit from year to year where we operate those farms, but also it's come from long-term appreciation of the land. The vision is a 10-year fund. We will have provision at year five for people to continue on, um, but it is a long-term investment and that's the nature of agriculture. 